So this is where I'm at, refining level one. Right now I'm actually trying to compose and install all of the high-res models, and all the static meshes that will be used in the final version of the level. I should explain something here. When I started building this, I was first crafting it in Maya so I could get a grasp on the whole thing in a 3D world space and try to arrange and figure out how things are going to fit. Then I roughed it all out in BSP in the in Unreal Ed, so that I could actually play it in the game, see how it flows, see how it feels, see the timing, the spacing, the flow, and the pacing. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Anyway, um, yeah, I made a. You can see I, I made a, a number of changes. I've talked about those changes before. Now, when I started to make the high-resolution models in Maya, I actually took all the BSP geometry that I made in Unreal Ed and exported it into Maya. Uh, that's what this teal-colored thing is. Now, I hope I don't break your fragile minds here, but this is sort of an inverted shell of the level I made. It's like I filled the whole level with cement and this is the cement with the level chipped away. So this is the shape of the actual level I've constructed so far that I enjoy and everything else is me trying to match that and produce the high-res level that I want to have. Now when you look over here uh, this is the section I've been thinking the most about, and I actually would like to get some other opinions on this. You see a difference here between the version that I originally sketched out and what I wound up producing with the BSP. Uh, you'll notice that it was a little higher here in the BSP version, and in the original I had a little lower. It came to be that I actually needed to drop it down for a portion in the BSP section. My first thought here was to just drop the whole thing down and have it all flat. Why have those stairs in there? I'll just keep it like this. I can use the same mesh for all of the corridors. Work out a lot simpler that way. But I thought about it a little bit and, you know, I like the idea of having those stairs in there to a limited degree. And that's what I want to go over here. I mean, look at this. Say you're playing this level, you're traveling down this corridor, and everything looks the same. It's just simple corridor, and there's other corridors, and they're all on the same side. It's, it's boring, it's mindless, and quite honestly, it's hard to keep track of where you are. But, if you're going around through this corridor, all of a sudden, boom, there's a drop. It drops down a small amount. Now you know exactly where you are. Okay, so I just, ooh, I turn here, zip around the corner, right up the elevator, and bam, I'm right back in the middle of everything. It breaks the tedium. And that's an effect I really like. But I don't think I like the idea of having those stairs there, especially with the particular pattern that I'm trying to go with for the shape of the corridors. Now, it's not about the amount of work it would take to craft a special stared version of these underhauls. It's about the design. I mean, why would there ever be a sudden drop of 18 inches in the middle of this underground cavity. It makes no sense. There's no function to it, and it just looks a little silly. Furthermore, the form I'm crafting for these underhauls would clash so much with having a small stairway in them. If I tried to graft a staircase into its shape, it would in fact look very odd unless I spent an exorbitant amount of care and design into its crafting when I could have used a fraction of that effort on a much more practical solution. But as I said, I like having that distinguishing feature so that you know where you are and that you see something that stands out in this long and very straight hallway that otherwise looks exactly the same. 
if I can't have this drop, then I need something else that's just as clear to distinguish the player's location. That's where I stand right now, and I want to open this up. Feel free, contact me, write a reply, something. Tell me what you think. What, what do, you, do you have any good ideas here? What I should be doing? Because I'm kicking around a few things in my head, but I'm not really liking anything that I'm seeing. So, that's where I stand today. At any rate, thank you very much, and have a nice day.